What's up everybody, it's Brian for thetechera.com and in this video I'll be showing you how to copy Windows 8 onto your USB flash drive so you can boot from it and install it onto your computer. Now this doesn't only work with Windows 8, the developer preview which is what I'll be testing here, but it should work with pretty much any other operating system that comes in the form of an ISO image. So what you're going to need is this free tool from Microsoft, it's called the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool and despite the name Windows 7 it does work with Windows 8 and other operating systems. So I already have it installed. The, the download itself is about 2.6 megs in size. So let's go ahead and open it up. It's a very straightforward and simple application. So the first step is to choose the ISO file. So my ISO is right here. Can't drag it so we'll have to go browse for it manually. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Let's minimize some of these things for now. But uh, Windows 8, you can get the developer preview for free. It doesn't matter if you're a developer or not. You get it completely free from dev.windows.com. It'll redirect you to this page here. The uh, developer preview just came out today. And then over here at the download, the Windows developer preview, you just need to click on get started. And then it takes you to where you can download it. Just click on the download link and it will take you directly to the ISO file. So back to the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool, we've chosen our USB file, which is this one here. And we're going to go ahead and click on Next. Now we're going to choose the type of DV uh, the type of media that we'd like to use. We could use a traditional DVD or we could use a USB drive. So for this video, I will be using a 4 gigabyte USB 2.0 flash drive. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in right now. Now that it's plugged in, I'm going to go ahead and click on USB device. Now we have to choose the one that we like to use, so it would be this one here, the one that has 3.7 gigs of free space, because that's the actual capacity after being formatted. So now we are ready to go, so all we have to do is click on begin copying, and it will go ahead and format the USB flash drive, and it will go ahead and copy all of the files from the ISO file over to your flash drive. And let's go ahead and check the time that we started, so it's 9:10 p.m and I will go ahead and come back when it reaches 100 percent. So it's been a little over 11 minutes and you can see that it failed at 99 percent and that is because a 4 gigabyte flash drive isn't quite enough space for this. So what you're going to want to do is make sure you have at least an 8 gigabyte flash drive to do this. So the 4 gigabyte flash drive that I have is just a little bit too small for this process, so I wasn't able to fully complete it. But if you have a different 4 gig flash drive, you could just go ahead and try it. If you have the same problem that I do, then you could just go ahead and step up to an 8 gig flash drive and use that instead. That's about it with my video. It didn't go as planned, but this is okay. I will just use a different flash drive or something to get this to work. But uh. That was just my little video on how to create a bootable USB drive for Windows 8 and other operating systems. Feel free to leave any other comments, questions, or suggestions down below in the comments area. But that's it with the video, so thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you.